I don't think a lot of guys understand how women think and operate. See, us men, I can see an attractive woman, you can see a good looking chick, and you're instantly sold. You don't need to know really much about her, right? But with women, they always are gathering information. They're always processing different things differently. So she could really like you and be into you. Then when she gets around you and she starts to gather more information about you and how you act and how you move, her perception of you can change overnight like that or within like two seconds. That's why I tell you guys, don't give women all this information and talk to them on the phone and text them a bunch because she's not just looking to you know get rid of you and weed you out but she's gathering information and her feelings always change I did a live stream uh, called seven reasons why women have one night stands it's on the patreon guys it's really good click the link below and go check it out become a patron listen a lot of guys and I just had a consultation with a, uh, a subscriber he's like man I'm a good-looking guy uh, these women they're vibing with me everything's good over text and uh, we get together, we hang out and have a good time. And what happens is she doesn't want to see him again. She basically, you know, goes him and drifts away. Now, I'm going to give you some reasons why women hang out with you. Uh, everything is fine. You think everything is cool. And then she just doesn't want to see you again. Okay. The first reason why a woman would do this is because you're just not socially aware that she's not having a good time. Let me explain. A woman can hang out with you at night, go to different bars, venues, clubs, concerts, all, all these different places with you. She can laugh. She can smile. She can like, woo. And then after the night, she's like, man, I'm, I'm done with this dude. And you're like, why would she do this? It's because you're just not socially aware that you're boring to her. So you might have uh, hung out with different women and cracked different jokes and they worked. Or you danced a little bit and you did different things and they worked with other women or around your friends but to that particular woman that you're hanging out with she's like man this dude is kind of weird man that was like lame and, and she'll continue to put a smile on her face like oh yeah she'll vibe with you but in her mind she's like man I can't wait to get this night over right because you did something that she didn't necessarily like that wasn't really cool in her eyes Right. So what she'll do is she'll, you know, give you a hug and a kiss like, oh, I had such a great time. And she'll text her friends like, man, that, that dude is, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm out of here. That was lame. That was right. So you, you couldn't be socially aware. A lot of dudes aren't that she's, you know, have a half cracked smile and she's not really having that much fun. Right. So that's the first reason why. Another reason why a woman doesn't want to see you uh, after the first hangout or whatever is because. And I had to really take note of this. You're talking and complaining about female nature far too often. Okay, guys, you got to be able to turn the switch on and off. A lot of you guys listen to a lot of red pill content. So what happens is you get around women and you start to turn them off. Now I explain. Women don't think. They feel. So you might be uh, talking to these women and telling her about the court systems and about uh, how you got flaked on a lot or how women did this to you or how they do this. What you got to understand is you're you're complaining to her and she's feeling like, oh, man, this dude, you know, he's not good with women or, you know, you're just uh, turning her off because remember, women don't think they feel so she's feeling like uh you know just kind of awkward and like you're not good with chicks all right so you gotta be mindful of the energy you bring when you're around women you always have to have a smile right you always have to be having a good time and loving life see here's the thing if you complain about women too much and i did this a few times that's why they want they didn't want to see me and you complaining you like man these chicks man they do this and and she's gonna be like oh okay so She's gonna lump herself with the chicks you're talking about. And she's like, man, I ain't gonna see that dude again. So guys, stop complaining about female nature and what they did to you way, way back when or uh, all this other stuff. Only thing you should be doing with women is hanging out, hooking up, and having a good time. Keep a smile on your face. Have positive energy when you're around women. See, if you have like negative energy and you're like, oh, uh, you know, man, these chicks and, and you hanging out with her, she's gonna be like, dude, I ain't gonna hang around you. Remember, Women don't think. 
And you might think that, oh, I'm just telling her about this, and, but they feel. So if you make her feel a certain way and you have a positive outlook on life, women and everything around you, what will happen is there's a, a high chance she'll want to come around you, right? Always remember that. Be positive and upbeat and smile, all right? This is what's going to cause her to want to be around you and see you again. Not if you a party pooper and you're like, oh, you know, why me, boo-hoo. Uh, don't talk about or complain about women, especially female nature, okay? The next reason why a woman didn't want to see you again, <laughs> and it's kind of funny but messed up. She wanted to make you into a boyfriend. She wanted you to be her boyfriend, right? And so I tell you guys, if you meet these women off dating apps or in person, whatever the case may be, or listen, don't let these women know your resume. Don't let these women know all the things you've accomplished in life because what's going to happen is uh, she's going to have the expectation of she's going to come and hang out with you and try to make you her boyfriend. And how women make, try to make you their boyfriend is they try to withhold sex from you for a long period of time. So in your mind, you're like, she's coming over to my place. We're going to hang out, you know, and you think it's going to be an easy smash, right? And what will happen is she'll like, oh, pull away or like, oh, I don't do this on a first date or you got you to try to touch her arm. She's going to be like, oh, you know, it's not that she doesn't do it on the first date. It's that uh, you gave off too much boyfriend energy, right? And also you didn't let her know up front that you wanted to sleep with her, that you want to hook up, that you want something casual. So a lot of guys, what they do, they try to say, you know, uh, because they want to scare the girl away, that, yeah, I'm looking for some, you know, a little relationship and see where things go. Don't tell her that. Because what's going to happen is she'll put on that particular mask for that good girl relationship. And when she comes around you, she'll be, you know, closed off and she won't want to, you know, initiate anything physical. Or if you try to... Um, talk about things something sexual with her what will happen is she'll like try to change the subject that's because she sees you as boyfriend material so when she comes around you for the first time she might come to your house she'll be like oh uh you know i, I don't want to sleep with you like that she won't tell you she'll just be like oh i don't do this on the first day or oh, we're moving too fast or uh there's just no spark there was no spark or chemistry uh, the thing about it is there there just wasn't in her eyes because she was trying to turn you into a boyfriend so what she'll do is you know sleep with guys on the side and still get her little fix and, and smash different dudes but she'll try to make you wait right so when things don't go how she planned and she's and y'all hanging out at your house or whatever and she sees that you trying to escalate things physically and touch on her what happened is she'll get she'll get upset because she's like, man, I really like this dude. And if I sleep with him, what will happen is he won't take me serious. So her plans have basically derailed and her blueprint has basically been thrown out the window because you're trying to get physical and sexual with her as opposed to her. She's trying to, you know, take things slow so, you know, you can be her boyfriend. And this is why a lot of women will just, you know, not want to see you again not want to hang out with you it's crazy but this is how the female is so guys always remember escalate uh, physically uh, first even over text you know ask her different things i made a video about you know ask her what's her favorite body part on a man different things like that so she won't get to you and have it in her mind like okay i'm gonna make this guy a boyfriend i'm making you, you know my uh you know my god i want to be in a relationship with don't let women see you as relationship material because if they do, uh, you'll try to escalate things physically and then she'll be like, oh, um, I don't do that right now. I, I just want to take things slow. Don't let women uh, view you as that type of guy, guys. All right, so these are three ways, three reasons why a woman didn't want to see you again after she was already into you.